Well, what you just seen was the difference between man-made time and actual sunrise time. It says it's 10 o'clock now because it's on that daylight savings time. But wildlife are not on that. It's actually 9 o'clock if you went by that where the sun would be. So in that October deal, when you start hunting, <laughs> you're hunting on man-made time, not nature's time. So it's, only, it's 9 o'clock now by the sun, and nothing's moved by. So I'm going to get down. But as the season progresses, you want to stay on stand at least until 10 o'clock. Uh, because that's, you know, real time. That would be 11 o'clock if we stayed the daylight saving time, but that's not 11 o'clock by the sun. So you don't want to get confused with that, you know, because it's not, because, it, because it's not an accurate time of what the sun actually is. And I got a new outfit on. It's pretty nice, really nice about it, and I could put my strap, safety harness, it's got a hole back here, it goes right to it, you put the hood up. Never thought of that idea before. And a big shout out and a big thank you goes to Captain Jay Masters out of um, Florida. He sent me this coat and these pants, and uh, they're in the field, Jay. So uh, uh, I appreciate you sending me that. And <laughs> I'm almost like the homeless. Bill Dixon sent me this hat a few years back. So uh, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys' gifts. It uh, means a lot to, to a guy to get something like that in the mail. But yeah, this, this coat, the pants, they're designed for the, the safety harness. And like I said, in the back, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but that harness goes right through the hood. Before, I'd have to have the harness hanging out here, and it was always in the way. I never thought about having a hole back there. So uh, once again, thank you, uh, Mr. Masters. And, uh, you're, you may physically not be in the woods, but your clothes are, so thanks a lot. Just knock the air off my rest. <laughs> well, I'm on a subject. I uh, have several of these arrowless, or not arrowless, uh, camera arms, and I bring them in and I leave them in the trees, and they work out pretty good. You want to turn that so that the ice and snow can't get in where it goes. Uh, because if you had it like that and it snowed, it'd fill up with snow, and if it rain would fill up and it could freeze. But leaving them in the trees is pretty handy because that way you don't have to carry that extra weight in to the tree and you already got it set up. So it's really, when you're doing that saw filming, you really got to be selective in your tree to be, so you can get that camera arm on the tree also. So uh, just a little hint over there. You can see the mold uh, growed on that arm, but uh, it goes in there, and then when I get there, all I got to do is bring the camera, and the arm's already there. Just a little helpful tip for you guys. Tip for you guys that want to do this self filming. Well, we're going to take little Donnie up to the beehive, and there's a surprise waiting for us. Come on, bud. You ready to go? Okay. Down this way. Walk down this way. When you're little, it's hard to walk in this trash. So I'll take him down here. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I'll get you down here. Okay, there it was. You walk over there, Grandma. Yeah, that's what the wind did to it. Three or four days. So I'm gonna cut it down and we'll show little Donnie what's inside. It's fine. It's fine. Check it out. See what was inside of it? Those are the cows. Yeah. Now them are, should be all brand new bees. But see how they made it on the tree? Yeah. They put all this stuff there. And then they lived in it. Chew up leaves and stuff and yeah. make that. But all the bees are gone now. So. Feel that. That's what the bees made. Out of leaves? Yeah, the bees made that. I mean, there are a lot of leaves around here. See, well, they chewed it all up and, and spit it out. So look how many, see how the stick went close through it? See, the stick was holding it on and they just wrapped it all around that stick. See that stick? Oh, no. It's going right. <laughs> yeah. See, you want to hold it? Here, hold no, it. No, no, no. No, hold it. See, that's how it was. It, it, the other day it looked just like that. When it had a, see, that had that leaf growing out of it. Yeah, see that? Well, when we get to Grandma's house, we got a whole bunch of those that are all in one piece. But that one, oh man, that was a beautiful one. Mm -hmm. I was hoping we were going to get it. And I sure didn't expect to see it that way. But look at it. Here, here. That's what the bees made. See, they had bee. Every one of them had a bee in it. The deer bit. See how all the grass, all the clover, and everything's all squished down? Yeah. They're laying there, they're laying over there. There's one over there, too. That's where they're sleeping. Yep. Let's, let's walk back to the truck over here. I'm going to show you a rub. Now, we're, what we're doing is scouting. You get up in front of Grandpa, walk down that trail. We're deer scouting. We find, we find some sign. That's how you hunt. Hunt the sign, then you hunt the deer. Yeah. Yeah. Look at look at all of them. You know what they ate them? Squirrels. Look at all of them. Yeah. 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 Well, let's go. Let's go on down here. I don't think you're gonna be able to crack it. I might. Here, grab what's if he can. Oh. There's a nut in there. Let's keep. Let's keep that hickory nut. Okay, that's what the squirrels want to eat, and the mice and everything else. Look at the woods. Look at all the leaves dying up in the tree. They won't be here uh, next that's week because right they probably won't be here next week. Wow. Ain't it pretty out there? Wow. We bought some already cut, so. It sure is pretty out here. Nice little walk. We're scouting. Look at all them baraskas. Go stand by them. So people see how tall they are. Walk out there in them. Oh, you're all right. Boy, they're almost twice tired to you. Look, Donnie, come here. Come here. Look what Grandma's got. Come here, Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. 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 Look what Grandma's going to get. See that? Look there. at that. That's a turnip. Oh, That's a turnip. Looks like it's ready to go. Grandma pulls that out. We you can eat. Grandma pull it out. Yeah. Kind of looks like a beet. Boy, we can take that home and eat it. 
What do you think of that? That's I what the deer like, will eat. I don't like turtles. So okay. <laughs> oh, deer, okay. The deer eat them. Yeah, they do. Deer eat them. They like them. Okay. Keep walking. That's pretty deep on you. Especially for the conditions they grow in. They're behind your soybeans. Yeah, have beans out there. Take one of them off and break it open. Now break it open. Keep breaking it. Oh. See that little bean in there? That's deer food. <laughs> it's having fun. I remember how high those were. This is uh, October 24th, 2021. Oh, you I guess it's the 23rd. Yeah, Maybe we can cook some of these. Donnie, see these? These are what you call velvet leaves. Those are weeds. Those oh, don't know. Oh, nice. Feel it. Feel it. Why, it's, why they call it yeah, velvet? That's why it's called. But that's Isn't not. It soft? Like the other yeah. Come here. I want you to pull this one out. Come here. There's two of them. See those two with the yellow flowers on them? Pull them out. They're weeds. Pull. Get the other one. Pretty soon, when you get a bit big, little bit bigger. I see more. Yeah, you see more? Good. I got me a new weed puller. <laughs> Come on, bud. That's good enough. You want me to go in it? Yeah, go in there. There's probably deer in there hiding. You could. Maybe she could be sleeping in it. He <laughs> completely disappears. Camouflage. Where'd Donovan go? <laughs> Want one of those big heads to take home? Here. Well, yeah, that looks like that could have been a deer. Could have been bedded in there. Wow, look at how thick that stuff is. You'd get lost in there, wouldn't you? Okay, Grandpa, I think I should be on your shoulders. Oh, no, we'll go back out that way. Yeah, I think I, Grandpa needs somebody. I need to be on somebody's shoulders. <laughs> We're scouting. Look what you ran right by. What is that? Deer poop. Yeah. You know what that's called? What? That's a scrape. See that tree limb right here? Uh -huh. See how it's broke off? Yeah. That means a daddy deer been in there. And they pee and poop right there. I wish we're not stepping in there. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to keep your eye open for that sign. Hey, we're going down here. <laughs> Don't run. Walk. Don't run. Go slow. Keep your eyes open. Is that stand in there? Can you see that stand? Is that stand in there? Right there. You can't see it, can you? You see it now? Yeah. Uh, right, like Grandma used to get up in that stand. Yeah. Uh, we're going down. It's important to teach the kids how to read deer signs. And got a hundred. Uh oh, buddy, go down that trail. Get down there and show me what you see. You're scouting. You're looking for daddy deer sign. Keep 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 walking. What do daddy deers do to trees? You see that cedar tree? Look at that cedar tree. Look at that cedar tree. Yeah, I see it. What happened to it? They, that's called a rub. Yeah, I know. I'm going to wander over that. I know. That's what they do. It, now, you didn't hurt that at all because when it pours down rain tonight, we're supposed to get one to three inches of rain. That's all. we got to find a trail. Okay, we found a trail. Look at this trail. Here's a trail. Oh, Donnie. Donnie. Look, look. 
Look straight east. Another one. <laughs> big one. Go up there and stand by that one. Oh, that's a big daddy deer did that. That's why we're out here scouting. To figure out where they're traveling. Wow, that's fresh. Man. Stand up there by that. Get up there by it. Don't touch it, just stand by it. Yeah, that's a big rub. A big deer did that. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Come on. Come on through here. We're going to go right up through here. And the reason we're scouting is because it's prime time to scout, right? Because what's it going to do tonight? It's going to rain, right? And then all of our scent will be washed out of here. But we want to either scout in the rain or right prior to it. And we got like two days of rain, of heavy rain. Look at that. There's another daddy deer rub. Good I duck? Yeah, duck. Look at that one. Now see, they've rubbed that several years. So you know you're on a deer corridor because that's the old side that they rubbed probably last year. They rubbed that one and they rubbed that one this year. Oh boy. Now I'm going to take you down here and show you something. Those deer coming right down through here. And that's what you look, gotta look for. That way you know there's bucks in, in, in your woods. Now, we get down here. We get on down here. Hold up, there's spikes everywhere. Look at that trail. See that trail? Yeah, I trail. see it. I see see how they made it? it? Stepping on. Okay. Now they come down here. They come down I'll here. Put the trucks up there. Yep. And there's a big old rub. But look at this big new rub. Look at this big new rub. Oh man. See that big new rub? Yeah. Walk over there by it. Wow, that's taller than you. That's that's t taller than you are. Yeah. Donnie Van, Donnie Van. Yeah. Look, I'll show you something. What's that, Jason? It is. Yeah. Don't climb up there. But look at this. Here's the tree stand. Here's the tree stand. And right there is the big rub. And where your mama and grandma are standing is the trail that goes across there. Tony, did you learn anything on our scouting trip? Is there daddy deer in the woods? Yes. How do you know? Because there is literally fish in the woods. That's called a rub. And they ain't rubbed that tree yet. They haven't rubbed that one. They rubbed that one last year. But that's what a rub looks like. You've seen them. So you know what a rub looks like. And you know what a scrape looks like. They poop and pee in it. Right? And they pull the dirt out. So that's what we're doing today. Scouting for deer sign. You and Mama. When a deer rubs, right? Yeah. And, and then they pee in there. Then the that's dough... That's a scrape. That's a scrape. They're marking their territory. They're, so the, the, the bucks stay away? No, no. That, so they, they just come. know that they're, you know, they, when they, that's their travel corridor. It's but like, other bucks will come and rub that rub too. Oh. Yeah. You know. It's like a marking post, like, you know, how male dogs will pee on the telephone pole. Yeah, but I thought that was like to keep the other. Down. No, the, so I've seen several, several different bucks rub several different, the same tree. Oh. And as the season goes, that. that so, so they kind of find their way? Well, they, they just smell way? it and they yeah. take their aggression out. Because they're clear full of tetestrum. The only thing they're supposed to do on Earth is breed. And once that tetestrum gets that high, all they want to do is fight. And, mm -hmm. and so when they smell another deer, they go over there and horn up the tree. Mm -hmm. to take their aggression out. But, uh, okay. We did some scouting. 
right before it rained. Now look how beautiful the trees are. There's so much more to bow hunting than killing. Well, here it is, Friday. And there's the rain gauge. The more book has up. Oh, right at five inches. Now that's since Sunday. We were out here scouting Saturday and I said it was going to rain. And it rained. Any human scent that was left out there was definitely washed away. So when me and little, well it's cold out here too. So what you seen when me and little Donnie were out here scouting, it totally got washed. Any scent we left got washed away. And him touching them rubs had nothing to do with keeping any deer away, that's for sure. Because it got power washed, <laughs> without a doubt. So have fun in the woods. Just don't be paranoid that you're going to scare the big one away. Because basically, that's all hype and no fact to back it up. <laughs>